In this video, you will learn how to make inferences from survey results. A set of survey results contains two pieces of information. Take a look at the survey result on the screen, for instance. In a random survey of 200 male school teachers, 70 of the teachers said they had worked in more than one school. You were told about the size and makeup of the sample of the population surveyed and then you are told about their responses. You can then calculate the percentage of the sample who gave a certain response. The percent is the part over the whole times 100. In this case, 70 out of the 200 teachers said they worked at more than one school. That is 35%. It is important to remember that you can only make inferences about the population from which the sample was selected. Here, the sample was randomly selected from the population of all male school teachers. So, it's not 35% of all teachers, but 35% of male school teachers who have worked for more than one school. Let's make an inference from another set of survey results. Take a look at this example. A random survey of professional baseball players asked whether they had been multi-sport athletes in high school. Of the 80 baseball players surveyed, 60 said they had been multi-sport athletes in high school. What is a reasonable inference to make from the data? The 80 people surveyed are randomly selected from the population of all professional baseball players. So you can only make inferences about this group of people. 60 of those players were multi-sport athletes in high school. Calculate the percentage that 60 is of 80. So, you can infer from the survey that about 75% of professional baseball players were multi-sport athletes in high school. You can also make a second inference about the part of the sample who did not give that answer. For instance, you can say that 100% minus 75% or 25% of professional baseball players were not multi-sport athletes. Notice, you should avoid inferring that this 25% were one-sport athletes or did not play sports because those are not exact opposites of being a multi-sport athlete. You can only infer that the 25% were not multi-sport athletes in high school. Now you know more about making inferences from survey results. Thanks for watching.